Test one, two, check, check. Audi, Texas A&M Physics and Astronomy. We are at the Aries Lab here at NASA Johnson Space Center located in Houston, Texas. We just finished the press conference in the main auditorium. We watched that on NASA TV. We'll also be making some videos about it. And here inside is where the sample is located. This is an extremely clean room for the gloves in which you go inside of the chamber where the sample current is. Do you want to tell them how you're involved in the science project? You don't have to. You don't have to. It's okay. No, I'm one of the astro-materials curators. I'm a geomicrobiologist, uh, a geologist, a microbiologist, um, and I'm responsible for microbial monitoring to make sure that we keep uh, making sure that we keep terrestrial microbes away from the natural materials. Uh, so what I'm going to do right now is to take down uh, a microbial hair sample that we've been running in the lab in the last few hours to check and make sure that the hair is microbial. Also, also something very cool about Aaron is that uh, it's tomorrow. Uh, not tomorrow. It has been postponed for at least a week. Oh, okay. Well, you're going to hear about a uh, spacewalk on the space station where they're doing the swapping on the outside of the space station. So, Yes, it's uh, no earlier than uh, the 19th. They're going to need to assess the impact of the radiator. And that's coming out later today mm. for oh, more information. Oh. So that's the You'll find it on the space station. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> but you can find more info on the space station. Okay. Yeah. And Aaron is the one that's here that. Um, Look for my groups, yeah, leaking out of the space station. And you can watch the big talk on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. And if you ask questions in the chat, you'll have to be very fast. Well, thank you very much, Aaron. I appreciate it. So this clean room has to maintain a certain level of cleanliness in order to not contaminate the Bennu asteroid sample. So if you're just joining us, this is the return of the first American asteroid sample. We're just outside the clean room here, Texas A&M University, Physics and Astronomy Department. Dr. Allison McGraw here reporting for you live. We just finished the press conference, and now this is the uh, area in which the press can get as close as possibly possible without contaminating uh, the sample, which is just inside of this chamber here. They've already begun uh, completing some of the first images, and, and the science has already started as PA Dante Loretta has just told us. They've taken 3D image scans of a few of the grains. It's carbonaceous material. Has sulfur grains in it, magnetite, 
and is indicative of uh, ancient or historic water flow in the earliest parts of the solar system. So to maintain a pristine asteroid sample, this clean room has to maintain a certain <coughs> level of cleanliness. See if I can answer any of your questions real fast. Howdy, y'all. Let's see if we got some questions. Now we're going to start to go this way, one more look, and then kind hang out on that side. Okay, so we're going to switch this. Is yes, the first American asteroid. This is the third sample of all. The Japanese Space Agency has returned two previous samples, one from a silicate asteroid, one from a carbonaceous asteroid, and this is the uh, first American one of a carbonaceous asteroid. I'm going to go see if we can take another window look. So here's all the PPE. Uh, you can see microscopes here in the background. These microscopes look at the micron sized grains that are making up the asteroid. They've found grains as thick as a human hair, which is about 70 microns thick, and entire pebbles and chunks. The TAGSAM, touch and go sample acquisition mechanism, uh, could only fit a certain size, but they have found, actually there was a few rocks stuck in part of the lid that were probably about five, six centimeters wide. Uh, most of what they have is going to be um, uh, maybe closer to a centimeter, small, even smaller for the small grains. And again, the science has already begun. They've taken 3D images. They've taken microscope images. You can see this is a optical microscope back here. Let's see if I can answer any questions. So this is, again, the Aries clean round. There's only a certain amount of 